Hi, I'm Sandy McVeigh, and welcome to this episode on MS Word Mail Merge. In this one, I'm going to show you quickly how to make some setting changes so that your data that's formatted in Excel, like with currency or dates, comes through your mail merge properly. Um, if you don't know what I mean, you can watch the video on the advanced mail merge letters in this series. So, here we go. So, if I open my database, uh, we're going to take a look at the scholarships that are formatted as currency. Notice in the formula bar it looks like plain numbers, and if we don't make this adjustment, that's how it will appear when we do our mail merge. And also the date column. So we have that formatted as the long date. You'll see in the formula bar that it shows as the short date. So we don't need to do anything special in Excel. What we need to do is change something in Word. So I'm going to open up uh, Microsoft Office Word and I'm going to open up Microsoft Office. And so here's my sample letter. Alrighty, right now my date is formatted in the short date format. I wanted to show the full date and we're going to add some little sentence in here about the stipend. But what we need to do is make a global change under the file menu options, advanced, scroll all the way down to the general section and check this box confirm file format conversion on open. This makes Word look at the formatting that we have in, in Excel whenever we connect to a data source uh, using formatting. So we'll click OK we have to close out of Word entirely so that that change is saved, and then we can reopen Word. I'm going to say no. It was already looking at my database. If I chose yes right now, it wouldn't understand that new file formatting change. So now I'm going to go to Mailings, and I'm just going to start my mail merge, and I'm going to select to use an existing list, and we'll choose that database that I just showed you a moment ago. And now this window looks a little different when we're connecting. You'll see OLE database files. I'm going to click the checkbox to show all, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and choose Excel Worksheet via DDE or Dynamic Data Exchange. That's the connection for that file format on conversion. So it opens up Excel, flashes open, and gives us the entire spreadsheet to choose from. Okay, so it's looked and found my fields, as you can see here. If I highlight everything, you can see where my fields are. I have an if statement so that if the gender is a girl, it says daughter. If it's a boy, it says son, uh, and matches the pronouns. That's also in the advanced tutorial, so we don't care about that. I'm going to go and preview the results, but you'll see that the date is now in the full date format. Okay. What I'd also like to do is um, add a little line here. We've awarded you, and I'm going to insert a field here and choose the scholarship. Okay. And so that's what we're going to do to preview the results now. I've only given scholarships to people in the United States, so if you remember this from the, um, the advanced video, I can filter out here and I can choose people only from the U.S. to get this letter. And then we can look over here and we see that the scholarship information is included. If we didn't have uh, that file format at conversion turned on, this 500 would just show up as the number 500, not $500. I didn't add an address block or anything here this time because of time, but I wanted to just show you how this works. And of course, then we would just finish and merge, edit the individual documents, and it will generate our merge. with 12 pages with the award showing and the dates. I hope you found this helpful. Stay tuned for 
email merging with Outlook. I'm Sandy McVeigh, and you can see more at my website, www.sandymcvey.com.